In this video, we're going to look at naming straight chain alkanes with a few examples. So our first example is shown here. Uh, we have a straight chain alkane uh, with branches coming off of it. And so we're gonna walk through the steps on how we name uh, for a generic sense, and then we'll look at some specific examples where there may be some extra rules. So for this example, our first step is going to be to find the parent chain, and that's gonna be our longest continuous chain. So I'm gonna highlight our parent chain here in yellow. That's a six carbon chain, uh, and it's the longest from start to finish without retracing or lifting my pencil. And so the six carbon chain is going to be called hexane. So I know my parent chain now is hexane. The next step is to identify branches coming off of that parent chain. So I'm just going to highlight the two branches here. So one branch and the other. And we're going to name those branches. So this branch has one carbon. That is a methyl. And when we have a branch, we change the ending to YL. Our other branch has two carbons, and it's going to be an ethyl. Our next step is to number the parent chain so that the first branch has the smallest number possible. And so what this means is that we're either going to number our parent chain, so I'm just going to highlight our parent chain again in yellow, and we're going to number that either from left to right or from right to left. And so if I start on the left side, I'm going to put these numbers on top of the chain. Uh, I will have my one, two, three, four, five, six. And so from left to right, my branches are going to be at carbons three and carbons four. If I'm going from right to left, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, carbons three or four. So it's a tie. And so how I'm going to break that tie is using the alphabet. So the first alphabetical substituent is going to be given the lowest number. In this case, our lowest, our first substituents alphabetically is going to be ethyl. And so we're going to go with this top scheme for numbering. We're going to go from left to right. So we've gone through all of our steps, and I'm just going to reiterate them again. So we have a parent chain of hexane. We have our branches. We have a methyl and an ethyl. And when numbering, we're going to go from left to right so that our numbers are 3-ethyl and 4-methyl. And now we're going to put this all together. And we're going to list our substituents alphabetically. So 3-ethyl, 4-methyl, hexane. And we put dashes between the location number and the branch and between branches but we don't put a dash or a space between the final branch and our parent chain. We're going to walk through another example here. Um, so in this example, uh, we have our parent chain. So we're going to identify that first. And our longest parent chain is being highlighted in yellow. That's five carbons. So our parent chain is pentane. Uh, from our parent, on our parent chain, we have two groups, um, and those are highlighted now in kind of the green color. And both of these groups are methyl. And so now we're going to number. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter if we number from left to right or right to left. Both of our groups are methyl, and they're both on the second carbon from the end of the chain. So I'm just going to go from left to right, so one, two, three, four, five. 
When I put this all together, I'm going to specify the locations of my methyl groups. Now, because they're the same type, I'm going to group them together. So I'm going to write 2, 4, dash, and I'm going to use the prefix di before the word methyl. So 2, 4, dimethyl pentane. And so what that tells me is that I have two methyl groups at locations 2, and four. Our final example here uh, has another alkyl chain and our parent chain. I'm going to highlight in yellow. That's seven carbons. So our parent chain is heptane. So hept means seven. We have two branches. We have an ethyl branch and a methyl branch. Now, if we number from each side, so I'm just going to count from the side. So one, two, three. I hit my first branch at carbon three. From the right, one, two, three. I also hit my first branch at carbon three. So because those are tied, I'm going to go with the alphabet. And in this case, the alphabet is ethyl before methyl. methyl. So I will number from left to right. And so now with this all together, I'm going to list my substituents alphabetically. So 3-ethyl, 5-methyl, heptane. 